was born in Yuma, Arizona, in a ranch owned by my family. Uh, but we lost it in the Depression. That's where I witnessed the injustice suffered by the people. To be successful, we have to have an army of boycotters willing to do the hard work. The bigger the army, the bigger the success. I come here out of respect for one of the heroic figures of our time, Cesar Chavez. I didn't want it to do a film that would be a, a history lesson, you know. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do an international, universal film that could uh, hit audiences that are connected to this context, but also those who, who are far away. Right. And, uh, we had our world premiere in, in Berlin. I saw that. And uh, 16,000 Germans were connected with the story and clapping and enjoying and living the journey with these characters, right. you know? And, uh, and, and that's because we focus on, on the personal story, on the intimate details, mm -hmm. you know? And that was the family. I, I had a chance to, to talk to Paul Chavez and to Helen Chavez, uh, Cesar's wife. Mm -hmm. And Dolores has been very supportive mm -hmm. now, and, and she's uh, behind the film. We were in Berkeley two days ago. Okay. She grabbed the mic and convinced everyone around to bring five people the, we the opening weekend. In, in, Ber in Berlin, she was there, so oh. when at the end of the film, everyone started clapping, and it was very emotional. I went on stage and, and asked the actors to come, but then I asked for Dolores. Nice. And everyone was like, wow, she's here, and she's you amazing. could feel that energy. And you know what she did at the end? She organized a clapping and, uh, and a shout of, si se puede, si puede right? at the end. And, and 1,600 Germans were shouting, si se puede. Right, right. It was uh, surreal. Do you <laughs> think, like Steve McQueen, you know, being not from the United States, but telling an American story gives you particular kind of insight for Cesar Chavez? It does, yeah. It does, it does, it does. Uh, film shouldn't be an experience that happens to you just when you're in the cinema, and then you come out and you're the same person. Film needs to get to you, and, uh, and, and in the best case, make you look at the world from a different perspective, you know, and uh, at least ask yourself something. So I really hope people, when they get out of the cinema, they ask themselves, what needed to happen for my food to be in front of me? Ah. If that happens, we've done good to a community that today deserves change.